Hi, this is Brad from Power Tools. What we're going to go through today is what's happening with your tags when you set up the automated filters for the filter menu. What can be a little bit confusing is the fact that Power Tools will start to manage these tags for you and you will not be able to override them manually. So let's go through an example of why this is happening. So here I've taken a product, it's just a pretty standard product, and I've deleted some of the tags and added on some other incorrect tags. So in this case, I've given it the wrong brand and I've given it a size that doesn't exist. I've also deleted some of the true sizes, such as medium and large from the tags. If we go into the filter menu, we can see that we have filters for type, brand, size, and color and these are set up to be automatically managed. If we have a look at the variant option filters, we can see we've got automated filters for both size and color. If we run a full store update now, what's going to happen is that these tags are going to get replaced and the correct tags that correspond to our product data will be added. So we'll have tags added for the color of true black, size medium and large, and for the brand of Burton. The Anon tag, which is another brand, will be removed and so will the super large tag. So as we can see, I've run the update and as you can see, the tags have been updated. So what's happening here is that the filter menu is trying to keep everything in sync. If you try and override this, it, it'll just get overridden because the source of the data is coming from your product variants or from your product data, such as the product type or product vendor. That concludes the video. Thanks for watching.